Hello everyone and welcome back to the 3D Printer Vlog. This is Michael here and this is going to be episode 12. This one's going to be broken up in a course of about three days or so, so if you see me in different shirts, that'll be why. Currently, I am just finished, I'm just putting the uh, nuts and bolts into the remaining frame bits here for the uh, z-axis and any other bits I've missed. Sorry for the vent noise earlier, it'll come and go. And uh, I gotta fix these extruders, this one's okay, the one in the back isn't. I'm gonna put that one over that in this corner here, just to uh, have everything symmetrical and just easy to access these filaments. So I can prop this straight up against the wall if need be. And yeah, that's uh, so that'll be the next few days agenda here, just finishing up assembly. Uh, I'm gonna see try, try to get as much done as possible here. So let's go ahead and get to that. See, so yeah, the only drawback is if you do screw up with this frame, you've got to take off a lot of bolts. And these bolts are kind of hard to put back on once the frame is like pretty much assembled here. I mean, you could take all these four off and make things a little easier, but I'd rather not do that. Alright, so we got this. Oh, that needs to be adjusted a little bit. But yeah, we got ourselves the extruder. That one's good to go. I think in the final design, I'll flip this or print around. And then we got our bolt to hold the spool. So they're both on the front side now, which should be a lot more convenient for uh, just loading and unloading filament. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten up the frame. And after that, Gonna see if I can squeeze in some more assembly process. Hopefully, I can get the rest of this assembled here. At least, um, I don't think today, but at least within today and tomorrow. So, let's go. Let's uh, go ahead and cut that. Okay, so went ahead and uh, had to tap out these corner holes to accept these new. Let's focus in a bit here. But yeah, had to tap out the holes going down this side here to accept these new corner uh, feet. So there we go, feet are attached, and of course this entire top section is tightened up, save for this middle bar, which will align uh, after we get the entire frame uh, tightened up here. So let's go ahead and get the, I'm going to get the top part lined up now. We should be good to, we should be ready to go to get everything else done. It's day two now at the 3D printer vlog. This is yesterday's SD card, which I shot the footage on. Um, for some reason, it's only working out of like one of my four SD card readers I have. So I just want to do a quick little teardown. Hopefully I won't cut myself. I think, yeah, there we go. There's our entry point. I have the stupid nut. Get rid of that stupid switch. Actually, it's probably better to work and use here. Huh. That's it. Just this little part right here. The rest is like blank and empty. That's just weird. It looks like one giant flash chip to me. Do a little bit of destruction here. There we go. Sayonara. Got another one on order. All right, now that we got our SD card destruction out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, get back to the assembly here. And today we are going to be assembling the cinder gantry for the X axis. So we can move along the Y axis. So let's go ahead and get to that. So just have to line up these little bolts here properly so I can slide this sucker in. She's a tight fit. There we go. Took me long enough. Yeah, you know how I said there's a insulation guide? Pretty much stops it when it comes to assembling this particular part of the build. This whole gantry? Yeah. No instructions on it. Yeah. <laughs> fun fun. Alright, went ahead and finished our uh, gantry assembly here ready to go even comes with our end stop which i need to put a screw on i used a lot of silly or the uh blue tack to attach the screws here finally i was getting fed up with not being able to properly uh 
insert them without them spinning around inside of the uh, channel rail. So I just used blue tack and just kind of jammed it in there and it works. So we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the frame here now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble the uh, top bearing or the top roller wheels and then place it onto our frame here. And then I'll assemble the bottom ones once we're attached to the said frame. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit janky just because we don't have our uh, bottom wheels in yet, but should be good. Look at that. Okay, so it needs a little bit of fine adjustment in terms of uh, tension, but ooh, holy crap, that is that is real nice. All right, everyone, I think that's gonna be about it for the this vlog here. We got our the uh, frame and everything is pretty much lined up. This top gantry needs to be uh, calibrated a little bit more further. The bottom axis and the actual frame is fully calibrated, so we are pretty much ready to rock here. So. I'm going to go ahead and step off, and I'll see you all next time.